Hello, Virgo viewers. I'm going to be looking into your situation, uh, what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. We'll just see what story the cards want to tell. So please be clear and direct. Be very clear and very direct. What is the love story here? All right. We've got the call of the night, daring, adventure, and excitement. We've got discipline, training, consistency, and practice. Rain, canon rules, commandments. Anti-hero, maverick, risk taker, and role breaker type energy here. Her last day in the light says unexpected ending, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. Nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic. It sounds like you're going through a transition right now. And then we have madness, ecstatic ritual, and energy release. Put these right there. I think you're really starting to listen to your own inner voice here because I feel like you're going through this transition with like with call of the night here and then discipline. It's like we have, you know, it's daring adventure excitement and then discipline is, is training consistency practice. So it's like two different energies here. Um, it's like society. It could be religious upbringing too. maybe maybe toxic beliefs. Um, based on how we were raised, you know, religiously, societal beliefs, societal pressures, or people may be telling you you should do something, like you should be a certain profession or you should be with a certain person because this or that, and you're kind of just going down your own path. I feel like there's just some kind of repetitive energy where it's like society or family or friends just keep telling you to do a certain way, to, to do certain things or to be a certain way or to date a certain person. And you're you're standing up to them you're you're you know this is you're looking away from this energy there's two separate energies you're like you're looking towards like adventure and excitement trying to figure out what's going to make you come alive you know you're this is like discipline practice where it's like you've been training for something and now you're kind of reconsidering it like maybe i don't want this this could be school too where it's like maybe you've been going to school for something and you're questioning it now you're like you know the path i want to go on is actually very untraditional um, and so you're, you're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for what feels right for you on a soul level. Could have to, could be tied to religion too, but you're not, you're not being um, tied down by these rules anymore. You're making your own rules. You're going on your own path, making life an adventure for yourself. You know, anti-hero, we have maverick, risk taker, rule breaker, just setting your own path, doing what feels right for you, being the person you want to be the last day in the light it's like an ending of something or it's like you are going to be um possibly ending something possibly ending a career ending a toxic situation whatever this energy might be that's been repeating you're saying you know what no this isn't for me anymore i'm going to go down my own path could even be a relationship too where it's like you feel called to go elsewhere you feel like you need this adventure and this excitement that's just not it that's just completely lacking in this connection or the connection is just toxic and it's just repetitive and you're just bored and you're lonely and it's stagnant and you're trying to be disciplined to do the right thing but it's like all these rules and it's just not for you and you're you're saying screw this noise and getting back in touch with your free spirited self you're taking risks you're putting your foot down you're going down your own path and so that her last day in the light says you know unexpected endings surprise changes sudden shifts so i kind of think that you've I kind of think you're aware that you want these changes, but you're going to be really shocked and surprised and proud of yourself when you actually make these things happen. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's just kind of something that you think like, oh, maybe someday like I'll do this or I'll do that. And it's just that energy is just going to come fast where these life changes are just going to come in so quickly or you're going to find yourself standing up to someone that you weren't able to stand up to before or you're going to find yourself just going down a completely untraditional path and doing what feels right for you when in the past you always went with what other people wanted and you're going to be really proud of yourself because these are going to be really fast like tower moments like overnight changes but they're going to be for you know your highest good you're going to be happy with them overall because you're going to be true to yourself finally
nobility, honor, high standards, idealism. You know, you have an idealistic free spirit and now you're getting back in touch with, with the person that you are. Um, you're putting your own beliefs and your own desires and your own, your faith first. You're, you're setting these high standards of what you want for your life and who you want to be and you're sticking to those. And your willingness to just be your unapologetic, your willingness to be your unapologetic self, your willingness to go down this this path that's different than what society planned for you, is going to lead you to to ecstasy, to energy release, to um, you know, just 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 free spirited, flowing energy again. Like you're going to find yourself again. You're going to be the person you were when you were younger like the person that you want to be the person you left behind all that energy is coming in for you now what can you tell me about love when it comes to these uh life changes so so you're standing on your own you're going your own way your own direction your own you know making it clearing a path for yourself now not listening to the opinions of others anymore you're really coming into your own coming into your power now um, what's in store for you with love, with these changes? I think that, you know, maybe you've you've been with toxic people too, especially as a result of that energy of just being a people pleaser. And now with you going down your own path, you're going to be meeting different people, different types of people like friends, lovers. You're just, you're going to see a whole new side of life. You know, I think you've been sheltered by something or someone and you're about to break free of that and see another side of life. And it's, it's really good energy for you. You're going to meet somebody who's very different than what you're used to. What's the love life look like? Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> tower moment. That's what it looks like. A tower moment at first. <laughs> Waiting, hoping, praying. A sense of belonging, home, safe space. Shyness and fear of rejection sadness trapped blocked tied up willpower strength and confidence dreams visions telepathy yeah you've you're coming you're really going through a strong transition right now for sure i think this is again talking about patterns you have now this could be patterns with family for some of you but for others this could be like a toxic ex or somebody that just tried to convince you no one would love you if you left them um, it's just some kind of energy where it's like the people around you have maybe instilled this belief system in you that no one's going to love you or there's just some kind of block involving the, the people around you. But what you've been waiting and hoping and praying for is coming in, this, this home, this sense of belonging. Finally, you feel alone around most people and it's like you're finally having someone come in that you feel at home with, someone that you feel safe with, someone you can be yourself with without them trying to you know, push you down a different path that you don't want to go down. But I think that you have a lot of damage, like shyness, fear of rejection, sadness. Um, you know, you have this energy, whether it's a person or people or just what a childhood upbringing, whatever it is, that's been kind of blocking you, these cords that need to be cut, that's kept you sad, that's kept you afraid of reaching out, afraid of being rejected by others, um, has kept you kind of small and sheltered, and you're breaking free from that and standing on your own now. You know, you have willpower and strength and confidence. You're getting past this energy. You're staying true to yourself. And as a result of that, you know, you're manifesting this person through dreams, visions, and telepathic communication. It's like you're kind of aware of their energy already, and it's helping you survive whatever situation it is that you're in. It's helping you just kind of push past all the the toxic energy or whatever it might be, whether it's beliefs or it's people, whatever the, that, that other third party energy is that's been holding you back is you're getting through it now. Um, so as you, as you break free, as you go through this transformation phase and you break free, can you show me what this new person coming in looks like? I think you're already energetically, if you haven't met them yet, I think you guys are, are coming through in each other's dreams could be like a soulmate or twin flame i kind of almost feel like it's someone that's been waiting for you like you've been telepathically communicating with each other for a long time and you've been aware of each other but maybe you just had family or friends or some kind of energy around you that was blocking them could be like an ex or whatever whatever the energy might be there was just something around you that was blocking them from coming in but it's like in your dark hours i feel like you kind of 
felt this person like you would like dream about them or you'd feel like this love and support and angelic kind of healing guiding protective energy out of nowhere when you were upset you would just feel like someone or something was around you watching over you you would just feel like you just felt their energy you felt their presence you felt like there's more to life than this even if i haven't experienced it yet you know but something has just kept you so sheltered and so trapped but you're breaking free of that now and you've been telepathically communicating with your person dreams visions just mentally whatever it might be um for a while now and you've been aware that they've just been kind of waiting and just loving you and supporting you from the side and now i think as after you go through this transformation i feel like they're probably going to be coming in you guys are still talking though telepathically like they're still kind of letting you know like like you're updating each other on what's going on you know So we've got sadness, but then we have divine intervention and synchronicity, like taking you out of that sadness, you know, and divine intervention would also be, that's also, that's your guides and your soul group, but it's also your person that could be considered divine intervention, <coughs> that could be considered divine intervention um, in the synchronicity. It's like they're the telepathic communication. It's like divine intervention. They're taking you out of that sadness. They're reminding you that you're not alone, that, that you do have a soul group even if you haven't met all of them yet even if some of them are on the other side you know you're not as alone as you feel like you are um magic manifestation power intention sex seduction overthinking over analyzing self-sabotage open and honest communication message and then adventure honeymoon and vacation so it's really good energy here Yeah, I get the sense of someone that just felt alone most of their life. And it's like you you have an awareness that your soul group, a lot of your soul group could be on the other side. It could also just be that maybe you haven't met all of them this lifetime, whatever the situation might be. But they are on the other, they are guiding you, whether they're on the other side or they're here on earth and you're just telepathically communicating, whatever the situation is. You know, your soul group might not be um, your biological family. It might be two separate energies. So... We're not always born into our soul families. Sometimes we kind of just come down here by ourselves or we meet our soul groups later, but we're not related to them, you know. So your biological family might not be your soul group. So keep that in mind that it's okay to let go of your biological family if they're tying you down, if they're, if they're, if they're manipulative, toxic, let them go. It's okay. Um, and yeah, you have this divine intervention here. You have magic, manifestation, intention, power. So I think you've kind of survived whatever this energy is. It's like you've survived it for a long time and you know that that your person is out there. No matter how lonely it gets, you can feel their energy, you know, and you're feeling it because, again, you're telepathically communicating with each other. They're telling you, you know, I know it feels like you've been in this situation forever, but it's not going to last. It's just temporary. We'll get through this together. We will find each other, be it this life or the next. You know, I am here. Um, so it's a very powerful, very true love, like just reminding you that you're not alone. Um, and sex and seduction, it's a very sexual relationship too. I think you might be telepathically communicating sexually as well. When this comes through, there might be some overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage. You might not be used to this kind of connection. But I see someone reaching out, being open and honest, um, sending a message maybe on like social media or a call or a text. But just someone sending a message that kind of clarifies that they do have feelings for you, that they do want you, that this is real. You know, I feel like you might need some reassurance and they're going to give you that reassurance. They're going to say, hey, you know this this don't don't overdo it with asking for reassurance of course but but i do see them like i see someone overthinking but then the other person sends a message and then the overthinking is kind of cleared up because you're like oh, okay this person is actually on the same page with me this person does actually love me this person does want this new start with me so as a result of you being willing to stand on your own and go down your own path and be your free spirit itself um, you're going to manifest someone that's completely different than in, than the kind of relationships you've had in the past, you know. And they're going to, when you're scared, they're going to clear things up for you. And again, a very deep telepathic connection here. You guys have been telepathically communicating for a long time. 
they've been there with you for a long time reminding you that they're there and that you're not alone even if you can't physically see them yet um but yeah, that when this, you know, there might be some fear and some overthinking when this comes in, but then a message is going to clear that up. They're going to be open and honest about how they feel. Um, or there's just, there's something that's just going to clear up the energy so that you get, so that one or both of you gets out of the overthinking energy. And then you're going to have adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like new romance, new start, a new love with this person. So it's really... It's really good energy. It's really good. You guys might actually be traveling together too. They might, if you've been kind of sheltered, they might want to like show you the world, you know, show you the things that you missed before. Um, take you on adventures, take, you know, just through, go through the honeymoon phase with you. So it's a really beautiful energy. Um, if this resonates, you know, you can book a private reading from me. My contact info is below. And also subscribe to me. I do these readings frequently. Thanks for watching.